welcome to my channel Wailani Creations. This is Wendy and today we will learn how to make this beaded hoop earring. Okay, so these two are slightly different. This one has two circles, one inner, one outer. And this other one only has one circle. And we will learn both in this tutorial. Here's a quick question for you. Do you like it with one circle or two circles? And do you like it with the teardrop or flowers? Let me know in the comments. To make these earrings, I am using size 11 C beads from thebeadmix.com. For this one, I am using the glamorous mix. And for this other one, I am using the succulent bead mix. I will provide a link in the descriptions. Just a side note, when I look at the bead mixes inside the bag, I actually like the glamorous one more than the succulent. Once I've made the earrings, I actually like the succulent one a lot more than the glamorous one. And it reminds me of Hawaii. How about you? Which one do you like more? Okay, for your reference, the hoop I am using is a little bit more than 1 inches wide in diameter. Or about 3 cm wide. You will need about three and a half feet of thread and also a needle. The thread I'm using is Miyuki brand, but you can also use KO brand. We will start by tying the thread around the hoop three times. You want to leave a slightly longer tail so that you can hide this tail later in the beads. Okay, so push the thread over so that it's on the top of the hoop. Add two beads and then put the needle and thread through the inside of the hoop. Now put the needle through the top bead from the same side that the thread came out from. Pull and tighten the thread. Now repeat the step by adding a bead and then putting your needle and thread through the middle of the hoop before putting the needle through the bead you just added. Pull and tighten the thread again. Keep the step again by adding another bead, put the needle through the middle of the hoop, and then through that bead we just added. Now pull and tighten the thread. Now we'll repeat these steps over and over again until we've gone all the way around the hoop making sure that you have an even number of beads. Right, so I've gone all the way and I have 44 beads total. You see here, the thread comes out of this last bead like this. While we will focus on this design for the tutorial with the two circles, I will show you how to do the single circle earring first. Okay, so starting from here where we've completed a full circle, we will first add a bead and then we will put a needle through the second bead on the circle. Pull the thread all the way through Next, we'll put the needle through the third bead, bringing the thread back to the outer side of the hoop. Now add another bead, and then put the needle through the fourth bead on the circle, bringing the thread back to the inner side of the hoop. Now put the needle through the fifth bead, bringing the thread to face the outer side of the hoop again. Just like before, we will keep repeating these steps over and over again until we've gone all the way around the entire hoop. Once you have completed the circle, you can skip to the end where I will show you how to finish it off and hide the thread. Next, I will show you how to make the inner circle of this earring. Continuing from where we completed the first circle, we will put the needle through the second bead so that we can bring the thread to the inside of the hoop. Next, we will add two beads and then we will put the needle through the first bead on the hoop to bring the thread back to the outside of the hoop. Now put the needle through the second bead on the hoop and also through the second bead on the other side as well. It's very hard to put the instructions into words so hopefully you can see what I am doing uh, by looking at the screen. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. It's okay if the bead on the left hand side looks a little bit wonky, we will fix it at the end later. Next we will add one bead and then we will put the needle between two beads on the outside of the hoop like this. Bring the thread all the way through and then we will put the needle through the bead that we just added going from the side that the thread came out from. We will pull the thread all the way through and then repeat those steps. We will start by adding a new bead and then putting the needle through the next two beads on the hoop. 
bring the thread all the way through and then put the needle through the bead that we just added going from the side where the thread came out from. Now we'll repeat these same steps over and over again until we've gone all the way around the full hoop again. Alright, so we've gone all the way around. Now we will add beads to the outer frame of the earring. Since this is the front of the earring and I don't want too many threads to be showing on the front, I'm going to flip it around and work from the back of the earring instead. First, we will put the needle through the bead that is next to the bead where the thread is coming out of. So right next to it. Next, we'll put the needle through the first bead on the outer circle. This will bring the thread to the outside of the frame. I've added a bead and now I am putting the needle through the second bead, pointing inward towards the hoop. Next, put the needle through the third bead, pointing outward away from the hoop. I have added another bead and now I am putting the needle through the fourth bead, pointing towards the hoop again. Next, we put the needle through the fifth bead, pointing away from the hoop. Just like before, we will repeat these steps over and over again until we've gone all the way around. I have gone all the way around with one last bead to add, so I will put my needle through this last bead on the hoop and pull the thread all the way through. We are now ready to finish it off. I will first start by tying a knot around the hoop with the thread. Next, I will run the thread through the beads a couple of times before tying another knot, and then I will run it through the beads a few more times before cutting it off. Now we are ready to cut off the string, make sure you pull on it tight before cutting. Now we will repeat on the other side with the small tail that we kept earlier. Uh, since we already tied this thread three times in the very beginning, I don't have to tie a knot again, I'm just running it through the beads a few times before cutting it off. Now I am creating a very small jump ring to connect the flower to the earring. The store bought ones are really big so I like to create my own since uh, I want it really small. Alright, let's connect the flower to the earring, and then after this, we will add the earring hook. We are pretty much done with the earring, but if you want to add the teardrop instead, I will show you that next. Alright, to add this teardrop, we will use 6 inches of 24 gauge wire. We start by putting the teardrop through the wire just a little bit, and then bending the wire to form a triangular shape. I am using this chain nose plier to straighten the ends of the wire a little bit so that I can squeeze the wires together like this. Next, we'll use the round nose plier to form a loop and then we will wrap the wire around in circles over and over again. When wrapping and making the circles, just make sure that every layer you add is formed right below the previous one. And now I am switching to using a chain nose plier to help hold on to the loop that I created, that way it doesn't constantly move around and change shape while I am wrapping the wire around. When you feel that you've wrapped enough circles, you can bring the wire back up to the top and wrap it around one more time before cutting it off and flattening it with the chain nose pliers. We'll connect it to the earring just like we did with the flower. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I will see you next time. Bye!